now in prime time from the Bay Area's local news station. You're watching Cron 4 News at 9. You know, if you want zero risk, you avoid the activity, but that's not what we're recommending. Well, while supplies, more supplies, might be on the way, the supplies of the monkeypox vaccine, uh, that's pretty limited. And with San Francisco reporting 12 new cases just today, what are the risks of getting the virus? Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Katherine Heaton. And I'm Vicki Liviakis. Many people have questions about the likelihood of getting this virus from different public events or environments. So our Crown Force Taylor Basaki looked into it for us. She joins us now live from the newsroom with more. Taylor, what have you learned? Well, I did speak with infectious disease specialist at UCSF, Dr. Peter Chin Hung. He says ultimately the chances of getting monkeypox from public events and on daily lifestyle are very low. He says you're more likely to get the flu, a cold, or even smallpox. Monkeypox is not very easy to get. And of the ways you get it, the most efficient way in this current outbreak is through skin-to-skin -skin contact, uh, particularly with an open sore. As we hear more about monkeypox circulating throughout San Francisco and the Bay Area, Dr. Peter Chin Hong says it's highly unlikely to contract the virus just by brushing up against someone in passing. Generally requires more prolonged contact. So COVID, 15 minutes, we're thinking about hours, possibly in monkeypox, um, but that's very efficient when somebody's being intimate with somebody else. Dr. Chin Hong says there's a much smaller possibility of getting monkeypox through bedding and laundry with fluids or respiratory droplets. It requires prolonged contact. Uh, so not a peck in the cheek, not passing somebody by in a party or in an event. We also had questions about transmission chances at places like the gym where there's a lot of sweat being transferred on equipment. It's a little likely. First of all, People with monkeypox are transmissible, unlike COVID, when they have symptoms and when they're sick. And when somebody's sick, they're not going to be in a gym. He says the same goes for public restrooms, unless in an extremely unlikely case where someone with open monkeypox lesions used the restroom for an extended period of time, and then another person was to immediately use that same toilet for a long period. At the end of the day, Dr. Chin Hong says it's all about your risk tolerance. There was a recommendation once from the from DPH about wearing long sleeves if you go to an event. Um, and again, it's it's all about how much risk averse are you? Um, because again, that chance encounter with somebody 20 feet away at, a, at an event who said they were positive later on, it's really going to be low probability in general. And of course, this is yet another virus that we want no part of. However, when it comes to monkeypox, this virus is far less bleak. Dr. Chin Hong says there have been no known deaths as a result, and it's not likely that you'll catch it multiple times within a year or few. Live from the newsroom, I'm Taylor Bisaki reporting. Back to you.